Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about a question that RKJ asked me in Twitch chat, which is, uh, sometimes I'm working on a fork of a repository and I have the same branch name in my fork as the upstream does. How do I work on this branch locally and how do I push that? Uh, and I actually took this question a little bit further because I run into this situation all the time. Uh, as a maintainer, I frequently get pull requests from other users and sometimes I need to tweak their branch a little bit before I merge it. And so I, you know, clone my repository, add their fork as a remote and tweak stuff a little bit. And people very frequently use the branch master to do pull requests on, which I would strongly suggest not doing, but that's, that's a topic for a whole nother video. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into this. Uh, so just to show you the setup that I have here, I have cloned pre-commit and I have added my fork of pre-commit as a remote, uh, which <laughs> it's a little silly that I have a fork of pre-commit, but you know, that's the way things go. Um, and you'll see that I have my fork uh, here and I have the normal repository as origin. Now origin is the default name here and you'll see that I have set my fork up as Asatili. And it refers to this other URL. We can also look at all of the remote branches here. We do get remote dash V, uh, no, 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 get branch dash R, and that's what it is. Uh, you'll see that um, my, uh, the, the upstream remote has these three branches, allow CI key master and whip progress dots. And you'll see that my branch also has, or my remote also has these three branches. However, I've done some extra changes on this branch here, so we want to check this one out separately. Note that normally when you work with git, if you just do git checkout branch name, uh, it will unambiguously check out the branch that this refers to, if it resolves. You'll see that there's only one branch called demo, if I, so if I do git checkout demo, you'll see that it, it kind of figures out what to do here. But if I were to do git checkout allow CI key, uh, it prints this warning that's saying this is ambiguous, so it doesn't know how to properly do this. And one way that we can do this, uh, at least this is the way that I usually do this. So if you guys have you know, a better way to do this, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, but the way that I do this is explicitly check out the branch from the remote and give it a special name such that it doesn't collide with either of those. And so I'll do git checkout asatili slash allow ci key dash b, and I'll usually just replace the slash with an underscore here. Uh, Asatili underscore allow CI key or something like that. Um, so I, I know, like, I've checked out my version of this. And if you see git log, you know, this is this is my version of this. Granted, I made this commit way back when. Um, and actually, I lied a little bit when setting up this thing. So it actually refers to the same as this other branch. But maybe I want to work on this one separately. Um, and so maybe I run some sort of commit here. Uh, hello world, hello empty, and that runs through, oh, has to set up the git hooks first, of course, uh, but yes, we, we made a commit here that changed this branch to be slightly different than that, and then maybe I want to push that to my ro remote, and we're going to actually use a special command for this, and I'm not going to uh, press enter because I don't actually want to push, but if you do git push origin head, this is what I usually suggest for pushing, and I'll actually link a video where I explain exactly what this is doing. Uh, but we actually want to push not to origin, we want to push to my remote, to Asatili, and we want to replace the branch that has a different name. So by default, head will pick the exact branch name that we're, we're dealing with right now. But we're going to uh, tell it to push to a different name here. And the way you do that is with a colon, and then the actual branch name afterwards. So this will say, push my local branch named Asatili double underscore allow CI key, to the Asatili remote with this other name. And that is that is the workflow that I use. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. And um, yeah, if you have additional questions, leave, leave a comment below, reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.